KARK4 today. Arkansas-based Tyson is reopening its plants in Maine and Iowa. Both were shut down after more than 400 employees in the company tested positive. Employees recently toured the plants to see the enhanced safety precautions put in place. The plants will operate on a limited scale for production for the time being. The NFL released its 2020 schedule. This season will kick off September 10th when the Super Bowl champs, Kansas City Chiefs. That's hard to say. I didn't think I would have the Kansas City Chiefs come back. JP, you agree, right? It's weird. Congratulations to the Chiefs, though. They'll play at home. The Super Bowl is February the 7th in Tampa. I actually think the Chiefs will go again. It could still change, though. It's all depending on what happens in the country as we are amidst this pandemic. 612 is your time. Time to switch over to Top Trends with DJ. And DJ, uh, Something weird's happening. We've got a new camera executive who's working on the floor right now, and he walked in wearing an LSU shirt. No. That can't be right. No. Wait, wait. Say that. Start from scratch. You said we got someone new that's working at the studio wearing what? Correct. A Louisiana State University shirt. While, while I'm reading these stories, can someone turn that uh, camera around so I can see who this person is? And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that here in a second. All right, there so he is. let's go and get into trending. Um, with everyone being uh, stuck at home right now, Nintendo has uh, made some serious bank. Uh, I was refer referring to the laptop that I'm on, that camera that I'm on. So somebody go turn that around so I can see. All right, so the company's profits have surged 41% from this time a year ago. Its uh, products have been in high demand since the pandemic started. Oh my goodness, I just saw this person on screen. Now, I'll get to you in a second, buddy. Yeah, and it's the Switch console has sold out on multiple, multiple websites, but uh, I'm still thrown off guard. All right, so let's get to the next story. Retired heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield is returning to the ring for charity. Uh, he made his announcement after Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson then posted a video of him training. So uh, Tyson... Will be making a comeback. Hopefully, his first opponent will be this guy that I see right now on this computer screen wearing this LSU t shirt. Is there a camera on him in the studio? Can the viewers see him right now? Oh my goodness. What Jensen, is going Jensen. on? Now, Jensen, you know that DJ played for the Razorbacks. And in fact, probably you beat LSU a few times, right, DJ? A few times. Three out of four. Three out of four. Three times. out of four. Three out of four. I couldn't, I couldn't hear him. What did he say? What do you say? Oh, he, he's trash talking. I, oh, all I heard Lord. was, we're going to go down here in the bayou, you know, and then we're going <laughs> to... Hey, wait. this guy knows I'll be back in studio Monday now. Okay, I'm going to have to call up a couple of my friends. We're going to have to take care of this, all right? Pat, I know you got my bat, Pat Walker. Yeah? <laughs> this is great for a finally <laughs> friend. Oh, His name's right, Jensen. Right. He's got a cool name and bad sports taste. Yeah, Jensen is okay, a cool guy. Yeah. You'll get to meet him. I, I don't know... Jensen. Look, DJ, our pastor, Rick Bazette's a huge LSU fan. I don't know if somehow yeah, is. this is a joke being played or what. It's a conspiracy going on here Something. this morning. He kind of looks like Joe Burrow a little bit. I, he looks like, like Joe Burrow? Joe Burrow? Yeah, yeah, I see Wow. It. All right. Wow. DJ, thanks. DJ's going to work to try to get the, the Bayou Bengal taste out of his oh mouth after goodness. that one this morning. Cities that saw gas for 99 cents a gallon a couple weeks ago, well, you're going to pay a little bit more now. Coming up, my gas prices are only expected to keep going up. It just heard in the weather center, Carmen said, who's Joe Burrow? All right, we're still tracking rain and thunderstorms here through central Arkansas and in south Arkansas, too, some stronger ones. We're talking about those and the cold weather to come next in your forecast.